Hey guys, this is the first episode of Warthog Tips and Tricks. I am named Archaic Zeus, and I'm the driver, so obviously I'll be doing most of the stunts and the tricks and most of the driving tips. And this here is my co-host. Hi there, my name is Jaden, and I am Archaic Gunner. Yeah, we met a while ago on uh, H3 Wheelmen, you know, just want to put a word out to them. Amazing sight. Anyways, we found each other, we've been gunning together ever since. Amazing team, me and him. So, uh, we're gonna get down to the trick. Our trick today is going to be the simple, easy e-brake. Some of you might know it, some of you might not, but we're still gonna show it to you. Simple and fast, we're gonna show you the clip of us doing the e-brake, we're gonna explain it, show it in slow motion, and explain it again, just to make sure you got it. All right, now that you've watched us do the e-brake, we'll now tell you how to do it. Obviously, you want to pick up some speed. Otherwise, you can't turn. You know, kind of common sense. Anyways, to pick up some speed, hold down your left trigger. That is your two-wheel brake. Known as the back wheel brake, etc., etc. When you hold that down, it, it stops the back wheels thus letting you pivot and do a 180. Now, my easiest way to do this is just to move the camera, which is the right analog stick, to the left, though it's more just comfort, whichever you feel more comfortable turning. You know, I just feel more comfortable turning left. It only matters if you're doing 180 and you're going the same direction anyways. But, you know, simple enough. And make sure you still have your left analog stick moving forward so you're still driving and still getting speed while you're turning. And just, you know, a bit of a common sense note, release the brake when you're done. You know, I've seen people pull off a perfect e-brake and then when they're done, they keep on holding the brake down. And guess what? I put a sticky right up their ass. And guess what happens? They die. So, I mean, you know, and here's Jade with a couple gunning tips for you on, you know, when to use the e-brake and stuff with specific gunners. Okay. First of all, the gunner has to keep in mind, your gun isn't going to turn with the Warthog. It'll stay in place. So, gunner, make sure you don't go spinning your gun with the hog. You will end up getting off target. Second tip. You want to aim with the bottom of the aiming reticule. This will put more bullets on target. Archaic, back to you. Yeah, another note, if you're a driver and you want to pull off an e-brake and you're not playing with a friend that knows what he's doing as a gunner, try not to do the e-brake too many times, but I've known gunners to get very disoriented when I do an e-brake, even though their gun stays in place. I don't quite understand it, but it happens. So if you have an inexperienced gunner who sucks at life, Try and not pull an e-brake on him. He's going to get confused, lose target, and probably get you killed as well. On that note, we're going to do our, to our uh, tip for the week. And that tip is communication. Not only between you and the team, but you and the gunner. Okay? It doesn't do you any good if there's a warthog in front of you, and your gunner's looking behind you, shooting the guy that just went behind the rock. All right? It doesn't really help you out very much when the Warthog's right in front of you kicking your ass, alright? You need to tell, you know, your gunner, Warthog, 12 o'clock, I'm engaging. Or, Warthog, 12 o'clock, I'm running away. Or, you know, Warthog, um, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever time of day it is. You, know, you, should, you, should, be, also, you should also um, try and tell your gunner, like, 12 o'clock high or 12 o'clock low. This way they know if it's up high, that way they can get the gun in position faster. Generally, you're going to use the high calls, though, if they're only on, like, a base or something, like standing on a wall or, you know, it's a banshee. Yeah, I mean, the Warthog is the strongest vehicle in the game, I think. The Warthog can take out any other vehicle it possibly wants. You know, the Hornet, that 
Warthog is basically the only vehicle that can take out a Hornet effectively. But the Chopper, okay, can take out a Hornet maybe in 30 minutes of the game. You know, advanced you can take out a Hornet after it's dead. I believe the Warthog is the most powerful vehicle in the game with communication and a decent gunner and driver. But remember guys, if you have the best gunner in the game and you have the best driver in the game, it doesn't do shit if you don't communicate. If you don't communicate, oh look, your gunner's beho looking behind you. Oh look, there's a Hornet and three Warthogs in front of you. Oh look, you're dead. You know, it, communication is the biggest rule when ever playing in a Warthog. Communication is the big rule when you're just like walking on the ground too. If you see a Banshee take off and the enemy has it, say enemy Banshee is up, that way your Warthog knows that the Banshee is up and he's a threat, or enemy has the Spartan laser, that kind of thing. So, you know, make random calls. Communication is good. But if you see that you pick up a Spartan laser and you say enemy has Spartan lasers just to joke with them, don't be a douchebag. Don't do that. That's not communication. That's just being a douchebag. Big difference. Okay, guys? Okay. Well, with that all said, we are now going to end the episode by showing you some of our amazing clips on our amazing matchmaking doing this awesome trick, the e-brake. We're going to show you how, it's, how we use it, how we use it to get away, when to use it, and just how we own in general. So enjoy, and see you all next week. Bye!